What's going on YouTube? So I came across this little story. Um, I'm going to play it and then I'm going to give a little comment about it afterwards. Also, fair use, fair use, fair use. ...was hit by bullets in the Lawndale neighborhood, and if you watch the right side of your screen, as the gunman opens fire, hitting the car, the driver keeps calling for help. He's trying to use an emergency feature in the Lyft app, mm -hmm. but help never came. My client was trapped. He had a gunman following him, following his tactics. Mm -hmm. uh, it was not mm -hmm. safe for him to stop the vehicle. Well, once the driver dropped his passengers near 65th and King Drive, a man approaches his car, watch him opening the door, then hitting him repeatedly. The driver has injuries to his face, and the car is not drivable. He says he plans to sue Lyft because their technology did not work. Well, Lyft sent us this statement. Quote, safety is fundamental to Lyft and the incident. Bullshit. Anyway, let me tell you something. If you are doing ride share, you got to know your neighborhoods. First of all, young man, you going on 65th and King Drive at night, bro, that's a no-no. That's around old block. I don't give a damn how much the surge is or what bonuses you give. It is not worth you losing your life over, for real. Second of all, your passenger knew damn well what was going on before she she even said she had a had someone following her her boyfriend following her and to the, and this is again it goes to these young kids today they think everything is a joke all right instead of calling the police you call and left and you risking that that driver's life which you did i think that's very selfish very selfish Anyway, guys, you be safe out there if you're doing ride share, doing any deliveries or anything like that. And if you can, please pack some heat legally. Make sure you have your license to, get, <laughs> to carry because they, these companies don't give a damn about you at all. Right. Have a good one.